Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a spring inspired video, although it's kind of like, I don't know, we're kind of well into spring. I guess not well into, but anyway, I know it's a bit late is what I'm trying to say, but in Canada, it doesn't like start to feel like spring until like now, which is like after Easter. <laughs> So that's why now I'm feeling more like spring vibes and I wanted to talk about some of my palettes that I feel have a spring kind of inspiration behind them. I don't really know what this <laughs> this video is other than like me wanting an excuse to talk about my eyeshadow palettes because I always like to... Um, just look at my eyeshadow palettes and show them to you on my channel. I just really like eyeshadow palettes. So yeah, this might be a long video, so I'll just get into it. And I haven't tried all of these palettes. Um, so it's not necessarily like a recommendation video, but maybe if you already have some of these yourself and you forgot about them or you haven't pulled them out in a while you might get inspired to do so yeah so I'll just go into it there's not really any order it's just I stack them up kind of neatly so the smaller ones are on the top and I have like a mini stack so I'll just go right ahead and stop blabbering um, the first one I have here is the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette. So this is one that I haven't actually used yet and I did haul it like a while ago now. So yeah, I really want to break into this one but I just haven't had the chance and I've been working on my Project Pan items and my Shop My Stash so yeah, like what I'm wearing today is um, the Kristen Leanne Urban Decay collab thing. So yeah, but this one just screams spring to me because it's just like those, um, like like this mossy green and these kind of shades that remind me of like florals. I don't know if anyone else will resonate with that, but yeah, I am very excited to play with this. And I did just notice though, when I was looking through my palettes, I think this shade is like almost going to fall right out of the pan. And this one too. So I've seen that a lot with these mini Natasha Denona palettes. So just a, a warning. But so far mine's still <laughs> intact. So that's one. Um, and then I have this little duo from MAC that I wish I could depot. But these are not magnetic pens. Um, they are two, well, I guess this is a matte, this like, um, kind of muted pink. And this is like a shimmery shade that is more just like a pearl. Um, let's see what are these called? Uh, Magnificent Me and Just Wing It. I think this is Magnificent Me and this is just Wing It. I don't even know if you can get these because I got them in a set, but this is just like a cute, like two shadow look. At least I think so. So I think you'll see a theme of these like dusty pinks. And I think it's because they make me think of fl uh, flowers. So that just, anything flowery and plants and garden that is springtime to me. This one I've mentioned on my channel before. This is the Sephora, I think it's called, yeah, Fresh Florals. It's a little six pen palette. And I think if it wasn't for this yellow, this wouldn't be very spring-like to me, but this pop of yellow just like makes it very florally. So, and that's obviously what they were going for. So there's this one too. And I am excited to play with some yellow eyeshadows again. Since I don't really wear yellow eyeshadows in the colder months, it's just a personal thing. Oh, and I wanted to mention my whole stack of <laughs> ColourPop, Animal Crossing, whatever. I think this is, well, this set is called True Friends, I'm pretty sure. 
because that's what it says here. But then each palette has its own name. So this is the one that I wore in the video that I did on this whole collection. This is La Belle of the Ball. Totally springtime to me. This is the only one that's not very spring, but it's still neutral and you can like um, mix and match all of these together. This is What A Hoot. So this one's just more like a warm bronze palette. And then we have Five Star Island. This one's very spring and flowery. I need to use this. <laughs> and Nook Ink. Looks like this. Very minty kind of shades. I like this. Because I like that there's some depth in it too. Um, yeah, I really did like the one palette that I used so far in this collection and I just think it's super cute. So Here's one that I haven't tried yet and I got it in a boxy charm. It's from Butter London. It's the Natural Goddess palette. So again, it's I think anytime like there's pinks with this green, my eyes are just like spring. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but yeah. So I don't even know how this performs at all. These two are mattes and the rest are all like satins, satin shimmery shades. So I kind of want to get some, I at least want to try this and see what it's like. Cause I have another palette from Butter London that I also got in a boxy charm and I haven't used either of them yet. So I definitely need to do so. This one I was like, is this giving me more spring or summer vibes? And I guess it could be both. It's the Norvina, well, the ABH Norvina Collection Volume 2. It looks like this. I have used this in a video before. Um, I really like this like neon orange shade. I like it better than this orange that's in the Kristen Leanne palette. Um, I just felt like it was more bright. This one's more like a true orange, but yeah, I really like orange eyeshadow in case you didn't know. And I probably could do a very similar look to what I have today with this palette actually. Oh, and then another ABH palette, the Carly Bible collab. This one is just very like ethereal, flowery, that kind of springtime vibe. Um, I did use this before, but I think I just did a really neutral look. And I I actually think I haven't used the shimmers. I only used it for the matte shades. So I can't really comment on this. I know people didn't like this palette as much as the other ones. So, I mean, don't run out and buy it. I don't even know if you can still get it, to be honest, but I personally, personally really like this color story. It's just nice and light, but still has some fun colors in it. Then we have my Sugar Pill Fun Size palette. This is one that I had to add to my Shop My Stash because I hadn't used it and I really wanted to. This one's a bit more neon than what I normally consider spring, but it's like pastel neon, so that's how I see it in my brain. I didn't love the look that I did with this, but that was more like a me thing. It wasn't like the palette didn't perform well. It's just, I don't know if the colors I used really went together, but it was for Easter, so I kind of had like an Easter egg vision in my mind. But yeah, I think this palette makes more sense if you use the colors in the rose because it's more like a a gradient in that sense i guess the exception is this one but yeah i don't know i'm not a makeup artist and i don't really know much about color theory so maybe 
I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I did find these were very pigmented and true to color. Like what you saw in the pan was how it went on the eye. And that's always good in my mind. Oh, this one, I was like, for sure, I don't even need to look at this. The Sailor Moon um, Pretty Guardian palette from ColourPop. It's this one, in case you didn't know. This is just totally springtime to me. I need to pull this back out. Because I really liked this palette when I used it. I just felt like it was like a nice and light and bright look and it was easy to use as well. So now it has some bigger palettes. I guess this video isn't that long. I don't have that many spring palettes or do I? I don't know. Some of these overlap spring and summer but I try to stay on the spring side. This one is the Tarte. Make Believe in Yourself Eye and Cheek Palette, another one that I need to use more. This is not a full kind of look to me though. Um, there's only this one matte shade and it's pretty subtle so it doesn't really help to like give your look more depth. But yeah, the shimmers in here, I just really like these shades. This is another like pastel kind of palette in shimmer format. So yeah, I, another one I would love to use more. I just don't have an, enough, not that I don't have enough time, I just don't wear makeup like Monday to Friday. So <laughs> that's a large chunk of my life that I'm not wearing makeup. This one, I was considering putting this in my shop, my stash because People are starting to talk about it again, I think because it's on sale. And I did also get this on sale last Canada Day for like 50% off or 40% off. It was a really good deal and I really wanted this. I just feel like Huda Beauty palettes are very expensive and like for what it is. So I only buy them when they're on sale. And it doesn't seem like her formula is very consistent because I don't often see like raving reviews about her eyeshadows. It's often like, well, it's okay. That's kind of what everyone says, but then everyone still buys her palettes. Anyway, this one is supposedly <laughs> one of the better ones and it looks like this. I just love looking at this palette. Again, it's more like pastel, but you can get a full look out of this, at least for me. There's some shades you can deepen up your like outer V or your crease with and some more like neutral shades that you can use as transitions. So yeah, you know what? I think I am going to add this to my shop, my stash because if I don't use it now, I'm gonna forget about it again and just put it back. Like I even still have like this plastic lining on it. I don't know why am I like this. <laughs> so yeah, you might see this in a video soon. This palette is actually one of my favorites, the Violet Voss Coral Crush palette. Not a lot of people talk about this palette, but I think it's beautiful. It's very coral. I mean. It's called Coral Crush, so what do you expect? I don't know if it needed to be so many shades, but when I did use this, I loved the look that I did and it was so blendable and the mattes perform really well and so do the shimmers, so yeah, I love this palette. This one could be also good in the summer because it's more it's like less light and airy and more kind of going towards the neons. But yeah, love this one. Oh, here I have another Violet Boss palette. This is one that I haven't used yet. I got it in a BoxyCharm. It's the All of You Forever. This one, I was like, is this spring or is it fall? But then I felt like it really reminded me of like a garden like these greens mixed with the pinks again. And 
I just love this color story. I just haven't had a chance to pull it out yet, but this one could really be good all year round and even like in the fall, like these six shades would make a really nice look. So yeah, I had to include this one as well. This palette, <laughs> I need to use this. This is clearly like specifically meant for spring. It's the Makeup Forever. I always forget, like, do these have names or not? I think it's just called the Artist Shadow Palette, but it's number three and it has flowers on it. And to me, that just means like it was meant to be a spring palette. And I think you'll see from the color story, very springtime-esque. This would have been a really nice palette for Easter looks as well. Um, but I just didn't go anywhere because we're in a pandemic, <laughs> so, but I love how these colors go together in the rose, that's how I would use it, because this is an all shimmer palette, so either you'd have to pair it with something else if you really need those mattes to help, like, blend out your look. But I think there's enough like variety in depth also to just use this for your full look if you don't mind using shimmers all over the lid. I don't mind it, but I do prefer like if there was mattes in here, I would like go straight to the matte to like have a base for my look. It's just like something I do all the time. So my brain just goes to that, but I think you could use this on its own as well. So this is another one I would love to use before the season is over. This is a BH Cosmetics palette. I'm not sure if they still have this, but because I got it at Winners, so I don't know what that means, but it's the Royal Affair and another very garden um, theme, I feel with the greens and the pinks. Again, more depth though with this one. I did use this maybe once or twice and I liked it when I used it, but I just need to take it out again. There's some like strange combinations of colors in this. Like these three here look very kind of weird together, but I don't know, when you look at it as a whole, it kind of makes sense. I don't know what this has to do with royalty, but that's what it's called, so yeah. There's just two more palettes. These are bigger ones. This is the Chloe Morello's Pretty Fun and Fearless Ciate collab. I have the first one, but the first one is very, like, mauve and this one has more color in it, so, like, this kind of area and this one, this is very springtime to me. I really want to use this color. Um, it's called Chartreuse. I just need to pull this out. I don't think you can get it anymore, but I like to use what I have. So I need to get some more use out of this one. And the last palette, which will always remind me of spring because I bought it like when I first started getting into makeup, the first ever like VIB spring sale, I bought this palette. This is the Too Faced Natural Love. This is a huge palette that looks like this. Um, this one, again, just another very light spring pastel-y, very just pink toned. Maybe another palette that I don't feel needed to be this big. Like a lot of these shades here are quite similar to each other and probably don't look that different on your lid. I don't know. I just think it's a really pretty color story. And I love the packaging with the little bunny and the flowers and they're like velvetized. So yeah. And I did like how this palette performed when I did use it if I remember correctly. I just need to, again, use it some more. <laughs> so those are all of my spring palettes. 
I hope you found this somewhat interesting. I don't know. It's kind of just like a show and tell for me <laughs> to talk about my eyeshadows and to remind myself that I have so many and I should use what I have. So yeah, I might start doing, like instead of focusing just on my shot my stash, I might start like what I'm doing with the um, the Mercury Retrograde palette. Like if I feel like I really need to use something in a particular season, I'll just add it in because I won't want to pull for this in, um, well in the summer I probably will, but not in the fall or winter. So yeah, that's how I work around that. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!